Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues, in which we're playing as a Kino of Manitoba. We're nice and thick and purple, but uh, we're in a two-front war right now, uh, with Broken Coast, as well as the Great Khans. They actually declared war on us, which was, honestly, a little surprising. I wasn't ready for them to go to war with us, but it is what it is, and we're doing well. We're, we're hanging out. We're doing all right. We did call in some of our allies to help us out, because this is a lot of divisions to fight. But I want to take out Broken Coast, too, because why not? Also, I did separate our divisions just a little bit so that we would get attacked a little bit more here and there. The Special Forces is moving in, which is fantastic. Uh, but I really wanted to start, restart uh, recording since uh, the Great Khan's like, angry at us. And they're like, mm, we want your territory. And I'm like, no. And I'm not going to say, and yourself, because it's like the first two minutes of the video. Um, where are you guys at? Hey, you know what? You guys can come down here. And helps out. We can do your own. Well, I got some folks to read too, such as this one, which I read last time. We read this one. Please go ahead. We've got to talk about the Lord comes around. Uh, I read this one too as well. The colonies beyond the shield wall. If you'd like to read about these, please go ahead. But then we have, for all that I've learned, when a commander falls, the men must stand ready to fulfill his duties. Uh, at once, they can mourn the loss once the battle's won. So it is written. So it shall be. The courier arrived in the dead of night, uh, carrying a letter bearing the insignia of the House of Yorkton. It seemed as though the sword of the North had finally come knocking. During the war of the First Republican Coalition, Flossendale took advantage of the ensuing chaos, occupying Wadena and the surrounding settlements that the former uh, Marshal of Longenburg was busy down south. Uh, amidst the letters, formalities, and superficial pleasantries, a clear ultimatum emerged. See the occupied territories are suffered the consequences. We have no choice but to agree to come to the terms. Tell the Yorkton let him try. Uh, well, I mean, uh, this one would make the most sense. And we, why look, okay. Forgot about that one. But cool. Uh, oh, get restore the Order of St. George too. Happy November, everybody. Ah, the Order of Archangel has been restored. The Order of St. George has been restored to its former glory. Nathaniel's Watchmen have been restored to its former glory. The fire rage is on. And find out about the fate of the Last Crusade, which we'll probably do by the end of this video, too. Uh, close out of that one. Close out of this one. Oh, look at look at all that we can do there. Adopt robot tactics? Probably not. We're gonna remove uh, when removal will get automated warfare, which is okay. But we're not using robots. It makes no sense for us. Adopt the lead tactics. An army is only as strong as its soldiers, and we must try to make our troops the absolute best they can be. That seems pretty good. Wasteland tactics. Asymmetric warfare. Wasteland's a dangerous place. That threw most of what we knew about the work warfare out of the win window long ago. We learn to fight as one with it, whether through cutting or sheer force of will, or dot mutant tactics. The world may look down on mutants, but we know that there's strength within every ghoul and super mutant just waiting to be uh, tapped into. Probably not. I mean, we're just straight up using infantry, and not even militia, but uh, kingdom foot soldiers, with conventional warfare and royal knights. So anything that will benefit um, <clears throat> uh, special forces, infantry, is really what we should go with. Um, this wouldn't be bad. It hurts our recruitable population factor. Yep, quite a bit more organization, though. Army and walking infantry get quite a bit more breakthrough. And that's for all infantry. Uh, the infantry you combat with would go down, too. We're using a lot of infantry. Ancient tactics? Sound like a lot of fun. And we're a monarchy, and that's kind of an ancient thing, right? Army plus 400%. And you get more special forces to attack. Now, I like refined warfare, but this one only really helps out. Um, of course, you could go flexibility command. That actually would probably be very beneficial and very good for experienced soldiers' losses. But it's really for heavy special forces. This is pretty good. Principle. Warrior code's not bad. Um, helps out with power armor support and power armor support. Yeah, actually, this right side's not bad. It benefits heavy special forces. So you lose out on this champion of virtue one. This one just benefits all the infantry no matter what. And the army in general, not completely, but a lot of walking infantry. I mean, walking infantry is just like infantry and a couple other things here and there. But you get more HP for the entire army, so what if we went with Asymmetric Warfare and Ancient Tactics? Exploit Eastern Marshes. We like to annex them eventually, too. So. And it looks like our allies are trying really hard against the Great Khans. I'm just here to hold for the most part. Nice. Because um, they're going to continue attacking us, too. And we're just going to be here to hang out a little bit. And, and the Special Forces are doing very well here. So I'm not super worried about them. You guys are moving in, which is fine. As you probably honestly should. Uh, you all do that. You're going to go here. There you go. That's fine. Um, 
No, honestly, you should go here first. Frequency analysis is good. What else we got around here? Oh, that's a lot of time. We'll grab that one. Nice. There we go. Pull out the bad ciphers. Very good. Better plane stuff, perhaps. Let's be aggressive. Circle if you can. Because we're trying to do as much damage as possible. Because we're at war with the broken ghost, as, as you can see. Uh, we'll see. And at this point, you know what? Why are you taking so long to get down here? I need to start helping out here. No, they're forcing the defense. That's good. How about? At this point, you got to keep attacking because we've got even North Cooper to take out too, which is not ideal. Uh, for all that I've learned, oh, couple, how did they get there so fast? That makes no sense. Um, you're gonna hold, and you're actually gonna go here. Okay, maybe not. There you go. Up out and up out. So I kill off divisions. And up next, we're gonna go do this one. No, Manitoba's back. Well, we did this one last time too. There's that one. Let's do this one. The colony's be on the shield wall, of course. Oh crap. Go here instead. Man, I can't believe we're actually fighting North Cooper. We might lose a couple divisions here and there, but it's because the Great Khans went to war with us. Oops, I should not gotten this guy too. Oh well. It's really going to be sapping their strength down here, but they're going to be dying soon enough. Um, yeah, maybe I should not have gone to war with these guys. I mean, special forces are good, but there's only so much they can really do, you know? Do we have the Great Khan's gun? No, we don't. That sucks. Yeah, it's going to take a while for us to capitulate these guys as well. Hey, man, it's coming though. That's good. Do the best you can. Now, go here. You can encircle them and probably destroy them. There you go. Nice. Good stuff. Nice. Oh, this is just right for getting taken out. Uh, all of our allies in it, so hopefully we don't lose here. And the good and bad days. Hell has fallen in the east. Uh, there's no other way to describe it. The very earth appeared to have split open. Undescribable monsters and rotting robots fighting over the scraps of blasted land, mere miles from our fortification. There's no salvation. There's no hope. Send as many as we are needed to man the walls. Disgusting, I know. Just keep it up. I know it sucks, but we gotta wait for the great cons to die. Cons must perish. And we do have... At least we have an airbase here, but looks like it could be better. Let's give our guys some more support here. Uh, we're not going to do that. Can you guys strike out here? Maybe. Micah, Micah Creek. We're doing okay against the Coover Company. We're doing pretty well against Great Cons. I mean, as we should. I mean, there's no point why we can't do well here. Get those air bases up. That's going to help us out definitely. All that damage, all that extra damage that we definitely need. Oof. There you go. And there you go too. Good. We're going to need one because I'm sure we're going to lose a lot of our divisions here. Yeah. Look at all. There's now definitely more green because of all this. Uh, the integrity of the, of the kingdom restored. We've gone beyond simply matching the splendor of the days past, carving out buffer zones as carrying our far-flung frontiers for our subjects looking to make a new start away from the bustling inner regions. They are being flooded with new opportunities. And all can rest easy knowing their children's future is secured. Great.
Oh, this would be a great opportunity to pick it. Oh, oh, look at that, the counter gone. Uh, we'll take all that we pretty much can. I mean, I guess at this point, like, I don't think our allies or early puppets could really take very much. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, puppets. Now we got these guys that can come over here and help us out. Most definitely. Right, let's make it over there. And what else? Man tribute? Uh, I don't think so. And there you go. That'd be very nice. And you, I think I went with uh, this one. Rely on the Imperial City for this one because this is. Pretty good benefits, but we'll go with the decentralized sleep because I didn't do this one last time. Towards the close of the war of the Republican coalition, the bulk of our fleet was sticking out in a single devastating strike on the Royal Port of Dolphin. On that day, it became clear to me that the kingdom could not afford to station most of its naval assets in one location. Scattering production across the former Dutch would strain up operational coordination, but it also make our supply chain more resilient, which is great. Uh oh, not again. Get out, break out, break out, break out, break out. Come on, get them before they do that. Good. Good. Let's make sure people for oh, look out. That's good. Do not let them do that again. This is very costly for us to do this, but we're doing it. We're doing it all right. Extraction. Just more of that. Hey, the divisions are showing up. In. Good. Good, 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 good. Good. Losses. 4,000. That's actually better than I thought we would lose. Wow, these guys have lost a lot. Expand the Royal Harbors. Our initial efforts uh, to overhaul Dolphin Ave, among other things, equipped us with the foundation to further expand the boundaries of the Royal Ports for a relatively cheap price. I approved the plans on the very day they were put before me. Every doctor we built puts us one step closer to securing our homeland. Receive some funding from the Crown, make it possible to operate on a national scale. Well, all right. What are you doing? Son, do you know what you're doing? No. You're going to die here. You should probably also core more stuff, too. All of Manitoba Knights have been restored. Oh, look at this. Replace Knights on restore with a new Age of Chivalry. Even more special force minimum capacity and more armor, reliability, and soft attack. I love it. Best stimulus? You know what? We can. You know what? We're going to do this too. I know we're losing a lot of guys doing this, but it, it has to be what it has to be. Also, we should keep working down this way too. I love having two uh, land options. It makes us overpowered by far, but even then, like at this point, even without having fully completed, we're still pretty, just ridiculously strong. You know, I never go to the find focus lenses, so I will go with that one for now. Why not? No, you don't not. You do not let them leave. A dominance at sea. Wealthy counts and investors from across the kingdom have taken note of our efforts to overhaul Dolphin. Having supplied the royal treasury with generous loans, kickstart mass scale naval production. Combined with the funds we already allocated to the program, this will enable us to expand our lake bearing capabilities to levels never before seen in the history of the kingdom. Courtesy to the Royal Company with financial help from the Royal Treasury New Fleet will be constructed for us to watch over Lake Winnipeg. Which is great, but uh, we're almost at the Pacific. That's taking forever, yeah. This is a problem. What map artists Cooper have? They cannot have that much more. Two, three thousand, thirty-nine divisions. They're on what? Almost feral. They're like all out of like manpower now. Except for the last two thousand. Three dimensional printers. Nice. Side channel attack. There you go. We're still beating them down though. How did you get encircled here? 
What the heck? Fine, force it. I also read this one last time, I believe, as well. So if you read this one again, please go ahead. There you go. Whoever will fall soon, too. That'd be good. Spark, sure. And this one. Keep him fighting for longer and harder, better, and faster. Still a giant mess over here. Uh, PS um, I guess we get to, uh, there's not that many divisions left from the past keepers. I don't know if there are any actually left at all, but whatever. Um, you're an infantry leader, aren't you? Not stops at all, but investment charters. Uh, thank you for agreeing to see me, my lord. The, hey, but blah, 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 blah. the Hudson Bay Company representative exclaimed as he marched into the Royal Hall, a small man dressed head to toe in fine pre-war garments. And everyone's doubted that my, an ambitious man such as yourself will let this kind of opportunity pass you by. Yorkton could already sense the direction of the conversation would be headed towards. Well, do state your case in concisely, if you will. A smile beamed across the man's face. Right away, sir. <coughs> the man opened his coat. Grabbing an oversized poster haphazardly, booking out of one of the interior pockets. He rolled it open, revealing a map of the kingdom split into its various administrative regions, each bearing red circles of varying sizes. The former Duchy of Absalon's featured the largest. As you can see here, over the past year or so, the lands in and around Hudson Bay City have seen the largest net influx of migrants. <coughs> Some of these fine folks have made for the frontier, settled down, blah blah blah, but the highest share work, work for, you guess it, us. Um, the man's grin widened. So that irked by representative showmanship Yorkton inquired, what's your point? The man recollected, recollected himself. My point is, business is booming. We've never had this much work on our hands, and yet we simply lack the facilities and staff capacity to make most of it. With a small loan from the Royal Coppers, we should be able to expand some of our existing departments. He paused, raising his finger. However, throw a little more away, and you'll start seeing li uh, sister locations cropping up all over the north like fungus. The man hesitated, perhaps realizing the unpleasantness of his metaphor. Of course, we need a better slight adjustment period, but after that... His eyes widened as he blew out some air. Just think of the opportunity, my liege. Yorkton scratched his chin. It was true that the Hudson Bay Company had proven itself the most reliable business and employer in the North, but if there's one thing that people fear more than monstrous abominations, it's economic monopolies. Tearing their quest down would probably go down well with small businesses owners, business owners in the region. The king rose to his feet. You shall receive enough for upkeeping out once and more. You have a blank check. Not one person in the city shall go hungry. This one seems like the one I would choose, so I'm going to go with this one. Absolutely open for business. The businesses are chugging and the people are eager. That is all that land needs to thrive. This is becoming a problem, but once Coover's dead, uh, well, not have any problems. Any upgrades here? Lords of War? Um, oh, improvisation expert, definitely. Can we win faster, please? Like, we need to win now. Going all the way in. Yeah, we finally got these guys here. Good. Pierce some harder. That'd be good. There's a lot of divisions still down here, but I think they should be done. Sure. Thank God they're done. Oof. That took forever to get. But now we can focus on one nation at a time. <coughs> so you guys will be fine there. I want, uh, I need you guys. You come off this way. You guys are struggling. I get it. You can finish those guys up. You can finish those guys up. Yeah. Just go. So now they lost 3,000 against 14,000, so they'll be done soon enough. Let's keep taking an array, look at that. Very nice. 
Ah, Manitoba's back. We've seized our place within the halls of history. Well, but what is keeping us from surpassing the feats of the Empire's past? Nothing I say. Go and spread the flag of Manitoba across the land, my children. Our story is yet to be written. That's a lot of political power and stability. And we will gladly take it. Restore the Nas. We've you learned about this. Please go ahead. Boop. Clamp down on autonomy. Imminent rate. Oh my god. You are going to die next. Wait. Hold on. How is Middlemark supposed to rate us? What? I do not understand. Um. I think they're dead. I could be wrong. But I think they're fully dead. How are they supposed to attack us if they're fully dead? Let's get some tech. That'd be nice. Ah, good. Now, where are you at? You finally broke through. Good job, guys. Well, since we're here, I guess the dredgers might as well be next, right? Next big step. And in order to lock Eleanor's path, you must have completed all the ending that you focus in the lifetime of war. These, that night felt especially cold. So the last time I played this, I did go down Eleanor's path. So we're not going to go with that. We're going to go the other route. Let's see what happens. Train, heavy special forces, gun nut, fire team, support attack and defense, uh, nerd rage, lead foot. It's not bad to reinforce faster. Idiot savant's not bad. You know what? Let's go with gun nut. Fire team, support attack and defense. We're a bunch of nuts who loves guns. Why not? A man or a state. Uh, the orchid awoke in the dead of night, drenched in a cold sweat, and gasping for air as he rested away from his tangled bedsheets. It's gonna look me. He staggered over the window pane overlooking the palace courtyard, gazing to the waters of the lake on the horizon as he recovered his breath. It was that dream again of the imperial palace crumbling, of the kingdom's city set ablaze and scorching hellfire of Eleanor. He shook his head violently, perishing the thought. The sword of the north had lifted the heavens in pursuit of his ambitions. He had proven the naysayers wrong, all of them. And yet for every day that passed, for every day that he was not giving his all and leading the realm, he was inching closer to ruin. His subjects were. Uh, how he can now, to, uh, when the north continued to be home to scoundrels and opportunists looking to pick at Manitoba's carcass? He glanced over to the trembling hand, clasping the windowsill. His time was running out. He could feel it. If he was to secure his children's future, he would need to act now. Reinstating mass conscription, mustering arms, marching on the lands, insulting the earth until... His thoughts were interrupted as the doors of the chamber swung open. Eleanor called out to him, Father. He must have made more of a ruckus than he thought. She dashed over to him, walking him back to his bed. I sincerely hope you haven't been skipping your dosages again. Yurton did not answer, instead of looking up to his daughters, she lowered him down, running his hand down her cheek. Eleanor's pride, his starlight, the hopes of the kingdom made flesh. A person who, all for her... Brilliant. The alien king did not yet deem ready for matters of statecraft, the naivety and trusting nature of youth clawed in the sort of ironclad political judgment, the harshness of the North called for, and yet someone who would one day inevitably inherit all that he had built. Was the kingdom truly equipped to embrace ruler with such an unshakable vision? As Eleanor started making her way out of the royal chamber, Yorkton hollered, Eleanor, she turned. Thank you for checking on me. Sleep well. But finishing what he started. Ooh. No one's ever made history by skirting around the toughest choices. Televisions were new and rare commodities in the kingdom of Manitoba, and yet they held the power to fire up spirits and shake convictions in one's own stead. Uh, that would certainly be the case for the Manitoba nobility, caught on, out in the middle of the kingdom's favorite nightly comedic skit. For everyone else, a royal call for gathering within the various town bars would have to suffice. Screens across the kingdom flickered for a moment, forecasting the leaf figure of Leif Yorkton. Set upon the th royal throne, the slight tilt of the camera emphasizing the man's imposing stature. Subjects of the crown, I thank you for offering the next few, mu few minutes of your time for the sake of the realm. I wanted to take a moment to invite those of you for whom memory allows to close your eyes and cast your minds back to merely one decade ago. What do you picture? He paused for a second, letting the minds of his subjects wander. Yes. Do you see it? Crumbling hospitals, fractured roads, brigands or brigands roaming the lands with not one soldier of the crown uh, in sight. 
enemies on sides, gnawing at a frontier to pick at a body paralyzed by the cowardice of those at the top. Please, do open your eyes once more. Look around. He paused again. It is beautiful, is it not? For your children to be allowed to run free once more under the watchful eye of our dutiful men-at-arms, opportunities behind every corner, our most dangerous enemies crushed under the boot of red-blooded men and to men and women, but I would be lying to you if I said the work is done, and I think you know that better than me. He rose from his throne. It was time. Today I am proclaiming the rebirth of the Britannian Empire. Ooh! With a kingdom in its heart. For only we have spilled the blood needed to reclaim the legacy of the old world legend we were all raised on the tales of. For only we have the mandate and power to bring civilization back to that desolate waste, brimming with low lives and abominations, none of whom would hesitate before striking us down and undoing all that we have fought for. We stand at a critical juncture. All I ask of you is to offer your hearts for the most dangerous chapter of our reign. You'll live on forever in the minds of your de descendants as a generation that marks the course of history. He raises his fist in the air. Long live Manitoba. Long live Britannia. All hail Emperor Yorkton. Will be known as the Britannian Empire. Claim every province in Canada not owned by Sir Alice. Oh, that's awesome. I did not realize that. The Britannian Empire. Oh, that is fantastic. I'm going to wait till we get the other one done first. Uh, hello. Yes, please go to the capital. Oh, look at that flag. That's cool. Sword of the North. And eventually we'll do the fate of the old Manifest Facility. At heart of the blighted woods, behind waves of freaks and monsters, lies the abandoned Manifest Facility. The sound of metal generation spilling upon its walls. Uh, or beyond its walls. Someone, something, had reawakened the dormant laboratory. It fell to us to put it to sleep for good. In Yorkton's wild adventures. I have grown rusty, that must be it. The time has come for the Sword of the North to lead his men into battle once again. Two more ascent. Emptiest, unassignable traits. Or traits we've not gotten to yet. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you know, we'll gladly take that. Oh, yes, we will. Very nice. And how many more days for these guys? Quite a while, actually. Not ideal. So let, let, let time go on. Full fat 20 right there. Eight. Oh, you can go right there. There you go. Here, come up here, because you can. Hide a confederation. Well, they're going to need to have to leave at some point, you know? Just saying. This ain't their land. Revenge was the dish besser of coal. Yorkton sat upon the makeshift throne placed under the wooden stage hastily assembled in the heart of Winnipeg the previous night. At the opposite end of the town square stood the gallows, in all of their old world glory, in the times of peace. They have been used to making an example of the settlement's most heinous criminals, but those days were long behind the kingdom, instead on that early morning. <clears throat> Winnipeg's cold breeze greeted those that had dared turn their backs on the countrymen so long ago. The Republican oligarch, the man of God. All three stood on stage, surrounded by the city's most loyal soldiers, ready and eager to deliver the justice the traitors had long eluded. And the crowd stood all sorts of subjects. From the young hungering for a show to the taking, old taking in the cathartic, cathartic display they had long dreamed of, and yet across the generations the seething disdain and contempt was palpable, rotten fruit and excrements flinging out from across the road, front rows. Yorkton wished he could join them, wished he could personally wrap his fingers around the necks of those who robbed them of his future. And yet he served a great, grander purpose, his cheek sinking into his fist. He waited patiently for the execution to finish listing out the innumerable crimes committed over the course of the decades. The hooded man eventually glanced over the king, and the Yorkton flicked his wrist, as did the executioner. The dwarf dropped from underneath the traitors, their bodies wriggling and contorting for a few seconds as the nooses tightened around their windpipes. The deafening cheers of the crowds filling the town square. All seconds. All it took was a few seconds for the stain of Manitoba's legacy to be washed away forever. But they could look to the future once more. History will forget your names. Oh, this must be Lawless Wasteland. Oh, God. Or not Lawless. Yeah, basically it's Lawless Wasteland. Just, you know, radiation areas that people don't go to. Whee! All right. Look at the core around here. You know what? We're going to start coring stuff based not on uh, population, but based on looks. That's how we rate everybody, right? And things. Also, 
resource efficiency gain. Well, let's do everything else normally first. Recruitment? Probably not. Uh, that one does one exit too. Because we've got all this to do down here too. Oh, look at that. A lot of territories, huh? Dishonored Sun. Great Stampede. Penny's Best. Killing Our Lands. How about Pax Britannia? Uh, if you've done no wrong, you have nothing to fear. <laughs> Absolutely. How much money do we have? We'll scavenge with a couple of vehicles. Nice. So does that include this territory too that can we claim? No? Oh, that sucks. Doesn't matter. Let's still take them out. Alright, finding a river. That sucks. Improved obstructions. And decimation. Either win or lose. Win or die. That's how it works here. Maybe we should give an air bases too. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, stage left, enter destiny. No one could have prepared the knights for what they could find in the old facility. Monstrous humans deformed beyond the bounds of nature. Much to the horror of the veterans, some of their less mutated shambling corpses appeared to be matching the description of a number of soldiers who had gone missing in the chaos that followed the Electoral's attack. Among the cabal found within, they were the lucky ones. The men pushed further into the facility, the wave of abominations thinning as the air grew lighter. Eventually, the knights turned a corner, only to be greeted by an unusually pristine corridor. At the end of it, a large ha hall adorned with giant monitors, each displaying the figure of a young lass draped in unusual garments. Howdy, folks! Destiny's a name. A uh, dis digitized, distorted noise filled the room. Come to say hi to your pals? The cool AI turned to the knights for a minute on end, vaguely threatening the what they would be joining, that they would. They would be joining the ranks of the comrades before long, but derision soon turned to anger, and anger pleading to anger turned to ble pleading. It became evident that the machine had no tricks left up to its sleeves. The knights, on the other hand, were keen and let loose, smashing up the servers and displays one by one until the woman had been relegated to a sole flickering screen. Waiter, you might want to keep my memory card on hand. Plenty of useful research on file. Your boss is going to want him. See, see him. Trust me on this. The squad later walked up to the AI. Not exactly a computer with whiz, but a stupid man he was not. A machine in this complex would have some sort of backup plan in mind, no doubt, and yet, what if it wasn't lying? What if that facility held the key to his, le his lieges' ambitions? After all, he would turn to his men, shut this thing up for good, boys, grab the memory card. Shut this thing up for good. We don't need it. And so, how close are we to annexing these guys? Not very close. Recon 5, nice. Good. Ah, more military factories. Uh, I don't know. More guns. Uh, final point targeting? Sure. It does cost quite a bit of manpower, but whatever. It's almost blinding in here in Nebraska. And there goes all that political power. Nice. Uh, we'll do a lot of the stuff at the bottom later. How about we do Duchy of Absalom? We successfully settled much of the former Duchy of Absalom and restored the bulk of its old commercial activity. It would not take long for these once for godforsaken lands to become among the kingdom's most profitable, of course. Oh, and the Dreaders. Thank you. Thank you for playing Dreaders. That's a lot of ships. Uh, the Royal Institute of Medicine. Uh, with much of the flora found in the Blightwoods is in both incredibly hostile and dangerous, but the medicinal properties are truly awe-inspiring. 
With enough money and research, we could be looking at a scientific breakthrough for the ages. This NF instructed that a new med medical universe would be built at the heart of the Hudson Bay City. A city worth its name. Or worthy of story. Our investments in a dolphin is not going to notice in recent weeks. Thousands of workers and their families from across the kingdom and beyond have flocked to the city, looking for new opportunities in its newly flourishing naval industry. I should be welcomed with open arms and a stroll through the streets of Dolphin. I have learned, I think I've learned a bit of sightseeing. Or earned a bit of sightseeing. The effects of this focus will hinge on your prior decisions. If you have chosen the related starting ditch idea, it'll be made stronger. Late night stroll, huh? Cool. Uh, do we build uh, one of these here? here? No. Uh, I should probably should, yeah. But no, at least after them. Uh, we do need to go to World of Montana chapter. I want to kick Nathaniel's Watchman out as well. Because at this point, you, you should be under us. As much fun as it has been having you here, your place is truly within our kingdom. Unreasonable. Hmm. And what do you got here? Oh, well, it's going to take us forever, isn't it? is it not? It's fine, whatever. Logistics wizard? That's something unique. You don't really have too much here in Overworld Blues. We'll do it. And Lords of War, why not? Something, stuff I don't normally choose. Ah, we're losing here, huh? There's a force in the defense, too. Manpower for loss against these guys. 81 versus 217. We'll get them. A lifetime of war. From battle to battle, we march in service of king and country, where the crowns will be backed by blood and iron. From west to east, the Lord's army stands without equals. Nice. How much manpower does a Hyde Confederation have? Not a lot. I mean, they'll, they'll grind it out to them. That's fine at this point. Yeah, you can do that one too. One thirty-seven, huh? Well, luckily we're almost there. Boom. No demobilizing slightly. Um, usually I would probably go with this one. So if you're about the quality of the kingdom, please go ahead. But with inspiration from Winnipeg. It appears that the Republicans have not been loving on their behinds over the years. Winnipeg's airfields will provide the foundation to the greatest air force the North has ever witnessed. The skies belong to us, with pro air production in full swing. It will not take long before our squadrons obscure the very sun itself. And take to the skies with us. Birth from nothing but an idea and can-do spirits, the Royal Air Force has quickly established itself as a dominant power in the northern skies. Not only have we filled a critical gap in our defenses, we set out a new legacy for Manitoba's best and brightest that will pass on to the generations to come. Your rockets, why not? Field engineers, huh? Three hundred versus eleven hundred, not bad. Nice. And after them, Montana chapter. Uh, we'll see. Washington Brotherhood. This one will last all time, so. Decimation is good. Breakthrough initiative is good.
Yeah, I got Robco, huh? No, we're good. We don't need these guys. Yep, that's fine. No, I don't want you. Get rid of you. You're disgusting. Not even connected. It's fine. Whatever. No, let's take a look at that. I start taking us. How'd you guys lead it? That's fine. Hello. Fine, if we all have to go in. Fine. Put more pressure on him. Hey, we actually broke through. Look at that. See? I knew it happened eventually. The memories of the past no longer linger. The horrors of manifest and the blood of woods have been put to bed. The burden of the memo memories sit with those who hold the power to take action, should that need arise once more. But for everyone else, the time has come to start a new chapter, and that process begins by scrubbing away the perverted legacy left behind by the abominations. Dave and Flea, very nice. Hey, there you go. Popping them. Kong is ours. Fantastic. Canada's looking pretty good. We got the Annex M. We're going to take out the Montana chapter. Ruminators are theirs too. Um, we might give it a slight break though. Just because, technically, that's like the last major group that we have to take out for all of Canada to be under us. But I'm sure they got a lot of divisions, right? They're a giant nation. Yeah, they got a lot. They still have a lot. We need more. So we might spend more time raising up our forces and whatnot too. Is that a separate thing? Or like, what is it? Oh, you need more thing. Lushy hatchlings, interesting. Fire teams would be nice. Fire bases, yeah, I'll go and throw that on there. Uh, chems are very good. Mobile chems, if anything, you get worse supply use, better trickle back, more organization HP. Do we have enough? Motorized vehicles? This is why I don't mind getting motorized. Since if we have enough, it makes us better and stronger. Recon? Mobile recon? Worse supply use, but um, worse production cost, but more recon, more organization, more HP. What do you think? Demos. Not bad. And you're a puppet, right? Yeah, you are. So we might help them out there. The Duchy of Warwick, amid the fires and destruction of the war for Regina and the surrounding lands, some of the once lush and pristine forests remain standing. The trees are then used to boast some of the finest wood on the side of the Great Lakes. Going on to inspire the Duchy's unmatched lumbering industries and robotics, alas, we can only recover a fraction of that technology. Mare Nostrum. Dozens of ships unlocked from Dolph and made for the Narrow, straight into the Winnipegosis, in honor of the first Royal Naval Showcase. The exercise was key for identifying any technical faults in the latest batch of ships, more importantly. It sent a clear message to the kingdom's rivals that yet reside on the lake shores. Manitoba was back, and it was here to stay. Uh, like the Duchy of Warwick, the one which fell first. The territories of the Metis Congress were among the first to break away from the kingdom. The rebels successfully driving their men back across the Asinabuine following a bloody insurgency. To many of our subjects, this marked the beginning of the realm's decline, having recently reversed this historic debacle. Those same subjects may be convinced that the worst is now behind us. So those guys in. We can still start taking out more territory first. I guess technically we could go to war in New Victoria as well. What takes 85 days? How much ride gear do we have? 6100, huh? What are we switching about riders? Will we save any manpower, really? Just a little bit, not very much. Not really that much. What if we did this? Could you do this here? If we did this, would this be worth it?
There you go, report repair priority high, as well as in Bismarck. Oh, this one's high. I didn't realize that. You could do that. You never learn. know what you're going to learn. I'm probably going to forget that for the next episode, but whatever. Warwick? Nice. What is that? Can you not get out there? Oh, God. Hmm. Lockreed, not bad either. West Tech Power Room would be nice. Fighters, Cass. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that one anyways, because we can. Set up my prospects. Do that. Ride Control Gear would be nice. More suppression. I love suppression. And, uh, we're still at the House of Weyburn. The Weyburn line once saw a domain over the key settlement within the former duchy, fiercely defending the Meta's rebels until the bitter end. Their loyalty shall be last be rewarded. The Archangel will finally be able to return home in the future of Regina. The capital of the illegitimate Metis government has fallen. Winning the war is not quite the challenge I envision. Winning the peace, we hear it will be the true test of leadership. But I think I'll end it there for right now. Uh, well, one more episode. We've got a little more to take out. Build up our forces a little bit more. Because we can use more forces regardless. But if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in the last episode of this campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great Britannian Empire rest of your day.